In today's video, we find the best park ups, we explore in the snow, find hidden gems, come face to face with wildlife, drive the most scenic roads, and explore the must see places in the Cairngorms with our friends Nick and Sam. But first, a quick trip to Kilda Forest. But unfortunately, most of the pathways were closed due to the recent storms. Also, if you're not watching this from the UK, it was absolute carnage here. Last option. Mission to find the head sculpture in the forest is go. It was a longer walk than we expected, but eventually we made it. Sadly, a tree had fallen onto it, so we'll have to come back one day in the future to see it in all its glory. Now let's cross the border into Scotland. First off, we decided to see what Edinburgh had to offer. But if you know us, you'll know the cities aren't really our thing, so we found ourselves wandering up the top of Arthur's seat. The wind was so strong, it reminded us when we went skydiving. We've never experienced high winds like this, but in true Scottish spirit, we weren't gonna let the weather get in the way of our adventures. Time to head a little further north to find some snow in the Cairngorms. So we've left the van at that little lay-by parking spot and we're just heading up on no particular path um, <laughs> to try and find a bit more snow because it's Sunday today and we wanted to go up the chairlift to get to the top of the mountain but it was so busy, the queue was just so long so we thought now there's no point now because not enough time left in the day so maybe tomorrow, Monday but for now we're just going to walk up to the top of this hill, really slippery, there's quite a lot of snow. Um, yeah, see what happens at the top. It was absolutely magical up here in the snow. As we walked, we kept our eyes peeled for deer, reindeer and white rabbits. And let's just say, the Cairngorms did not disappoint. The next day, Nick and Sam treated us to the most wonderful vegan full Scottish breakfast to fuel ourselves for another day of adventure. It's been a long time since we've had a big fried breakfast like this. We're very lucky. Thanks, Nick and Sam. <laughs> now it's time to hit the slopes. So I think we're pretty much ready. Jake, what are you doing? Are you feeling ready? I'm walking out of low, Nick. Nick's ready. Yay! <laughs> I'm in my all yellow, like a bee. Like a, like a bee, black and yellow. <laughs> we had so much fun messing around in the snow. It's around £60 per person for the ski pass and all the gear we needed for a day on the slopes. sunny today we picked a very good day to do it um we have done a few green runs i accidentally went on a blue run so now we've done two blue runs and i'm a bit better than i thought i was going to be but professional it's still i'm still not i'm not that good like i i can i'm very slow um but trying to keep up with jake well neither was a technical but we both got the ability to make to make it down a few runs yeah We're together on a tea bar lift. Look at it. And surprisingly, I am keeping up with Jake almost. You're I'm so such a good job. Surprised and proud of myself. Ah. We've both had one little fall, but nothing bad. To be fair, we're sticking to greens and blues, so then we can do them really confidently yeah. and have a lot of fun with them. It's so much fun. This, I honestly, when I heard there was a ski resort in Scotland, I was like, no. well, we weren't going to do it. It's only because Nick and Sam were like, yes, we should do it. Yeah. Um, Nick and Sam were also doing really well. They weren't as confident as us at the start, 
but now they are like going for it. That yeah. was like, on the, all but, the same ones as us. Ski Resort in Scotland is actually very cool. Best reckon is better than the New Zealand ones. Now it's time to warm up and make our way to the next location. So today we are going somewhere we've wanted to go for a while. Having a few hair issues. <laughs> Um, we're going to the pyramid that's near Balmoral Castle. The car park for it was £5 for a car, but £10 for a van. And just out of principle, it didn't have like bins or toilets or anything, so I thought it was like a bit expensive. But it's a free car park down the road. It was not really a car park, it's more of a lay by, so that's where we are. Um, yeah, so we're going to go see the pyramid now. For chocolate, oat milk, oh and vegan. Oh my god, thank you. Why is mine like, uh, what's happening there? <laughs> Why did you get me a huge one? Wow. Really? Albert's Pyramid, I think that's what it's called. It's amazing. One side you've got these massive tall trees surrounding it and the other side there's all these hills and mountains covered in snow at the moment. Um, it's really nice and natural up here. It just, it feels like the wilderness but obviously the pyramid is man-made so it's quite like a contrasting thing. I think that makes it so beautiful. It is a shame that it's not completely covered in snow. I did really want to see that um, but it is still very impressive. The walk up here is pretty steep but there's loads of little cairns and stuff um, so if you take it slow it's really quite nice. Then we made our way back to the vans past Balmoral Castle to say a quick hi to the Queen. Good morning everyone. Today we are We've just driven off from our little spot we stayed last night, which was really nice. Played a few card games with Nick and Sam last night. Um, had a bit of a lay-in today. And we're parked up next to Corgarth Castle, which kind of from the ground looks like just a white, like an abandoned kind of white house with a tall wall around it. But from the sky, the wall is in a cool star shape. So Jake's gonna have a little drone around there and then we're gonna carry on with our next adventure. We've made our way to the Loch Garten, which uh, is an RSPB, Royal Protection Society, Royal Society Protection of Birds, um, and we're hopefully going to find some wildlife, some birds, and some red squirrels if we're lucky. Um, not sure what to expect, the reviews are quite mixed to be honest, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah. Apparently, if you come here at a certain times, ospreys nesting. Yeah, I did hear about that. Resident ospreys, but they're not here this year, or they're not here yet anyway. This time of year, yeah. Yeah, wouldn't he? So, best thing ever just happened, didn't it, Jake? We've had our princess moment, Disney princess moment. Disney princess moment happened for the first time in my life and Jake's life. There was some seed. It's allowed to feed the birds here. There's some seeds scattered around, so we just put some of that in our hand and just stood really still. And they were coming over and walking on our hands, weren't they? They are incredibly light and so delicate. They are so light. Like, there's no weight to them at all. All you can feel is their little little feet wrapped around your little finger, but they just weigh nothing. It's so cute. Absolutely so. amazing experience. Yeah. And obviously, some people might say, oh, they're just garden birds, but they were so amazing yeah. to see up close. Now, like the Disney princesses we are, we made our way through the enchanted forest to find some more magical snowy mountains. This is Cairngorm Mountain. There is a nice big car park, so parking the van for an adventure pack day is no challenge. The amount of snow was epic. The thing that we most wanted to see was reindeer, so as we walked we kept our eyes peeled for movement. 
Seeing these majestic animals was the highlight of the trip so far. This is the only herd of reindeer in the UK, so it was wonderful being able to see them and to capture some video and photos of these beautiful animals. Back now from that walk, and it was a stunning, stunning walk. Highly recommend anyone try it. If you come in winter, even better, because the snow just makes it magical. We didn't want to go to the top because we didn't have the right gear, but it was still worth going up to the pathway where the path becomes too difficult. Anyway, back in the van. Look who it is. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, a bit better, yeah. A bit better? Yeah. It's oh. been a very dodgy time. I don't know. All yesterday, basically. I don't know if Jake already explained, but all oh, yesterday I was feeling sick, kind of not majorly sick though, and then it just got to yesterday afternoon, and and, and I do tend to get a bit car sick, which is uh, stupid because we live in a van, and I travel a lot anyway. Um, so I just part of me just thought it was that, and Jake pulled over and got me a bag out, um, that I managed to hold it, and then when we parked up last night, I just was being sick until about half eleven. So, yeah, we've really been in the van for a, a year and a half now. That about it? Nearly two yeah. years? Nearly two years yeah. since we started building it. So it's not good uh, it's not a bad run having had no in, no instances of illness no. before that. And the craziest thing is is that I haven't since Jake's known me, which is what like five years, I haven't been sick once. No. Ever no. at all. But it was also uh not a wake up call but like a highlight highlighting the fact that when you're in a van and you're ill, you're very much trapped. Yeah. So um, it's difficult because Jake was like trying to make his dinner and eat his dinner last night, and I was just throwing it up because yeah. the smell of it <laughs> wasn't the nicest meal we had, <laughs> but we made it work. You're just kind of stuck in one room, and usually if one of you is ill, you know you obviously go into a different room and give them a bit of, they like, just you know turn the lights on, whatever. But luckily we are parked next to our friends today, so Jake could go off yeah. and get out and about with them, and I just had another sleep. Didn't I, so. Yeah. Hopefully it's 24 hours. Well, it's been over 24 hours now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're fine tomorrow. Anyway, that's our little catch-up. We're just going to chill now, wait for Beth to get a little bit better.